Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And welcome to a brand new episode of Motivational Muslim with myself, Shabir Hassan. Now, today, what I wanted to speak about is something that's been bugging me for some time now. Um, because everyone is looking for an opportunity to invest in something, to invest in a company, to make some more money. Everyone's looking for an opportunity to jump onto the next big thing. However, they neglect the very thing, or in this case, the very person that really requires the investment, and that is yourself. It's so, so important, and I can't stress enough how important it is to invest in yourself. And I will definitely uh, expand on that and elaborate what I mean by investing in yourself, because some of you might be confused. You know, some of you might not see the importance of investing in yourself, because you can, you know, you can see uh, the importance and, and you can see the benefits of investing in a company, because you will gain something tangible from that. You, you know, you'll gain some wealth from it. Um, it's a risk, but at the end of the day, it's a risk that you're willing to take. Some of you might want to invest elsewhere, uh, but really the most important thing is investing in yourself. So what do I mean by that? Uh, the best way that I can really break this down for you uh, is by breaking it down into three areas and three categories that I believe personally, and not just myself, but this is something that um, if you speak to uh, or if you listen to uh, any sort of successful business person or leader, uh, or even from, uh, subhanAllah, you know what, from our deen as well, we take this. If you invest in these three areas, then most definitely uh, you will be successful, inshallah. These three areas, uh, I break it down into mind, body, and soul, okay? Now think about it, mind, right? Uh, when was the last time uh, that you, for example, picked up a book and you read a book. I'm sure there's plenty of people watching that uh, read books uh, on a daily basis or really regularly. Uh, but when was the last time you actually picked up a book and you, and you finished it from A to Z? When was the last time that you went out of your way to listen to a lecture? And I'm not talking about passive learning and just listening, for example, on YouTube like you're doing right now, for example. But I'm talking about, you know, actually attending a lecture. When was the last time you went out of your way to seek knowledge, whether that's reading, whether that's sitting at the feet of scholars, etc., right? Because that's a true investment that you can actually make in yourself and that's something that will allow you as a person, as an individual, to progress. Okay, so investing in your mind, giving something back and educating yourself, this is so, so important. When I say body, what do I mean by this? I mean, there's so many of you that are probably invested in a gym, meaning like you're, you're paying a monthly membership, right? Uh, but I'm not just talking about gym here, okay? When I talk about body, I'm not talking about, right, how big, uh, you know, my biceps are. I'm not talking about how, uh, you know, how lean I am and all of these things, right? That, that's secondary and that's, that's important as well, inshallah. And if you're into that, then that's really, really good, right? And it's a really positive thing. But what I'm really mainly uh, speaking about is looking after your body uh, and investing in your body in terms of uh, how fit are you? Again, I'm not, it, it, even if you don't go to a gym, it doesn't matter, right? I'm talking about how fit are you as a person? Uh, do you feel groggy when you wake up in the morning? Um, what's your diet like? Do you just consume oil and chicken and chips and, and all of these things, which, yeah, you know, I'm guilty of and, and all of us are. But the thing is, are you taking care of your body? That's another thing. Because so many people, they complain about their outer and physical and outward appearance, uh, but they don't do anything about it, right? So again, like, th there's no point complaining if you're doing nothing about it. There's no point complaining that, oh, I don't feel like I'm learning anything and I don't feel like, you know, I come across this person and he seems so intellectual. There's no point complaining if you're not actually reading or if you're not looking after your body and taking care of yourself. And of course... Thirdly, lastly, most importantly, is investing in yourself in terms of your soul. Investing and giving something to your soul, right? Spiritually, giving, uh, giving yourself an uplift, right? So what, what do I mean by this now? Um, there's so many ways, subhanAllah, that we can invest in ourselves. I mean, of course, we have to, you know, fulfill our obligations. And it doesn't just mean prayer, right, for the soul. There's so many good deeds that you could do that benefit the people around you, that benefit the people in your household, in your society, uh, that will actually really allow you to build on yourself and uh, really allow you to give something back to your soul. So there's so many things that we can do. But the reason why I'm mentioning all of this is because why we need to invest in ourselves is because we're talking about making a change, right? All of us, we want to progress and we want to make a change. But the thing is, we're not actually changing ourselves. We're not investing in ourselves. That's the best investment that you can make, right? Too many people are talking about changing other people. Too many people are talking about bringing a change in another community, but they haven't even 
progress themselves. Right? Think about water. Right? It's the best example I could give you right now. Water, when it becomes stagnated and it stays in the same place, right, that same water becomes muddy right, and it becomes filthy. But that very same water, when it starts flowing and when it's always on the move, then that's the freshest and the purest water you, that you can get. Now, similarly, likewise, is our uh, condition that if we just you know, stay stagnated and we stay in one place the whole time and we don't actually develop ourselves and we don't progress then just like that water, you know, we're going to become muddy. We're just, we're just going to become useless, right? But if we're on, constantly on the move, we're, we're, you know, every single day we're progressing and we're becoming better people, right? We should, you know what, especially as Muslims, we should feel restless if we compare ourselves to yesterday and we're still the same, where we haven't actually bettered ourselves, we haven't done anything better, right? We should feel restless. It should, this should actually make us itch and it should make us really want to do something better. So this is what I wanted to speak about uh, today. Investing in yourself is so, so important and just small, small steps, okay? That's all it takes, small steps, right? For example, I want to invest in myself in terms of soul, right? That third category, uh, how I broke it down. It right, doesn't mean that you need to start, you know, subhanAllah, spending your time in the masjid the whole day and locking yourself in a room and just doing dhikr. No, start small, right? Even if you feel like, okay, yesterday I was like this. Okay, today, for example, I'm just going to read an extra, for example, a few verses from the Quran. I'm going to just do a bit more dhikr. Like I'm just going to say, subhanAllah, alhamdulillah, that's it, right? Or, you know, I'm going to pray two extra units of prayer before I go to bed. Inshallah, that's going to count as my tahajjud prayer. Something like that in terms of body, right? Okay, I'm going to have, you know, I'm going to eat uh, this kind of meal today. I'm going to walk a bit more today. I'm going to feel better about myself today, right? In terms of, uh, you know, knowledge, in terms of your mind, just reading, you know, even if it's one book in the whole year or listening to a lecture, even if it is YouTube, you know, just learning something new, developing yourself is so, so important. Um, and, and this should really, I mean, I know this is advice I'm giving you, but this is advice I'm really giving to myself. And this really, and I have to repeat this again, this should make you feel restless. If you're not bettering yourself, and if you don't feel better about yourself, and you're just complaining, then there's a big, big problem there. But we need to do something about it. But small steps, inshallah. Remember, I'll say it again, and I've said it already so many times, invest in yourself, inshallah. Hope you've all benefited, and I hope to see you all again very soon, inshallah. From myself, Shabir, take care. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.